you know, I'm, I'm real kind with your uh, black snap with your earring in you. I'm real kind right now. I'm real kind right now. Y'all good? Y'all good? This is said y'all won. You won. You good. We can kick back. We can kick back. We won. Okay, down for the nitty gritty. Uh, I know y'all been hearing the rumors and uh, everything that's been transpiring around about uh, my whereabouts and what I'm going to do. And I'd like to, for y'all to hear it from me and not uh, from anyone else. Um, it is what it is. Either in coaching, you get elevated or you get terminated. Mm -hmm. Ain't no other way. You get elevated or term terminated. And it ain't no graveyard for coaches where they die at the place. It don't work like that. They either gonna run you off or you gonna walk off uh, upon your own recognizance. I've chosen to accept the job elsewhere next year. I'm gonna finish what we started. We're gonna dominate. I'm gonna be here to that end and that conclusion. And then when that conclusion, we will move on. Now, what I don't want you to do is thinking uh, something is better on the other side in regards to some of you. I would like to have the opportunity to meet with some of you so you don't go and jump in the portal and you die in the portal. I don't want that to happen because some of y'all thinking it's, it's simplistic like that and it's not. Um, that portal will be loaded on, is it Monday, fella? Yeah, Monday. Monday, the portal opens, mm -hmm. be loaded and they're gonna call and they're gonna ask because that's what we've done for some of y'all when we were trying to acquire y'all. We called and we asked your coaches, anyone we knew, what kind of character, what is it, and I don't want you thinking since you have the Jackson State um, awards on you that people are just gonna flock to you and they gonna lace you like that. This is uh, one of the best universities, I believe, certainly in FCS, um, that you could have an opportunity to play at because of all the bells and whistles and these particular things that we brought here. And I'm trying my best with this wonderful gentleman to help choose this next guy for you. Um, my recommendation goes to TC. Uh, they know how I feel about TC. I want TC and uh, several of the staff members are gonna be retained here, but that's mine. I, I would love for someone in-house because I, I don't really know how y'all would act with somebody outside the house coming in to really not understanding how we function, how we get down. So. That's my recommendation. So let's clap it up, TC. Hope you uh, oh, that's how it goes down. But uh, uh, that's is, that's not his sole decision. So don't put it on him. He has a hierarchy that he must go through for that to happen, right, AD? I would not be here if it weren't for this man. With all, you have no idea the trials and tribulations that we stood back to back and uh, worked out for some of the things that you don't even know about, some of the things that y'all have no idea about. And uh, I'm not tired of fighting whatsoever, but if I heard God's voice on coming, don't second guess of my hearing ability. I know God, and I know when he shifts, and I know when he moves, and I know how he gets down with me. I always, I always questioned things when I was a player. How can you be so dominant and have to play for five football teams? That don't make sense to me. I ask God that often. But then I had to understand when he's taking you from faith to faith, from glory to glory, and allowing you to provoke change in different places, that's why he would allow me to play for five darn football teams and four baseball teams, but because it, it doesn't supposed to happen like that. But I understand the calling that he has on my life. Um, and I feel like I gotta do something about it. It's been four or more African-American head coaches at the next level that has been terminated. I haven't heard not one other than a candidate like myself to replace them. So to me, that's a problem that many don't think about, but that's a problem. If someone don't step up and step out and hold it down for us, that's a problem. And many of detractors 
I guess they don't understand college football consists of 70% African-American. I don't care where you're at. It just happens to be more at an HBCU. But it's not like I'm not going to speak into the lives of young African-American men and women um, alike because my challenge is still to provoke change no matter where I am. And I'm going to be me. I'm 55 and I don't plan on changing no time soon. Um, God made me like this and, and, and I think God is pleased with what he's created. This is probably the toughest moment for me ever because it involves y'all. If it didn't involve y'all, I'm out. But when I talked about his story and understand some of you all stories that I've come to know and the seeing the progression and seeing what Eleven did out there today and just seeing what some of you guys uh, have climbed to is undern believable. And that's the thing that that got me. That that's the thing that's holding me hostage is y'all faces. And not only y'all but the uh, equipment team. I'm going to let you make it today, baby girl. I'm going to let you make it. The equipment team, the training staff, uh, the media staff, the photography staff, um, the GAs. Uh, I see you, Jan. Um, everybody included. Um, the documentary team as well. This ain't easy. And it's not about a bag. I've been making money a long time, and I ain't nowhere near broke. So it's not about a bag, but it is about an opportunity. So I always felt like if you dominate your opportunity and you treat people right, the bag is going to always come. I never chase the bag. A bag has always chased me because I've always tried to make the right decisions and do the right thing regarding people, regarding decisions, regarding life. It hadn't been too many times where I was meant to stay right and I took a left. Maybe a couple of marriages, I take that back. Right. Right. No, I'm sorry. 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 But any questions you have, I know this is a bit of a sweet moment and I heard some foolishness talking about many gonna jump in the portal. You ain't hearing nobody but yourself. Don't don't hurt yourself. Because whether it's 11, 11 or 22, we're going to go to Atlanta and kick the butt. We're going to win. And I would hate for you to see be at home looking at us, looking at us on television doing our thing. So make sure you choose properly. And if anybody <coughs> have a problem, uh, I would want you to come and talk to me about it so I can set you straight. So I can give you some real direction on life and what I see for you in uh what I think you should do as a man. I'm not gonna tell you no wrong, I'm gonna tell you right. It's like him. Um, we've been trying to make sure you guys are straight for quite some time. And I love it that we can talk like that. That we, hey, we gotta, we gotta straighten that. This gotta be this, this gotta be that. This, it can't be no let up now. You the same passion, the same intensity, same type of uniform, the same cleats, the same under armor, everything, everybody, everybody's straight. Everybody's straight. So that's what it is, fellas. You heard it from me. The world don't know. They assume y'all are the first ones to know and to hear it from me. My family members didn't even know. I don't tell them nothing because they can't hold war, especially my mama. She can't hold war. <laughs> if I want to, if I want everybody to know, I tell my mama, right, Trey? Yeah. Yeah, she's going to tell it on the mouth. Or TJ. Or TJ going to tell it too. <laughs> but uh, any questions? Yes, sir. I don't have a question, I got a statement. Yes, sir. Um, it's to the team. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to put this on myself. The, the, the day I, I said I was coming back, it wasn't for this one we just had right here. It was for what we left when we went to Atlanta. And I think all y'all who was here, and when y'all felt that, y'all know what that means because we gave them that game. And my whole thing was I want to finish my plate. So I know a lot of y'all want to make y'all decision, and I never fought y'all for that. But I want y'all to remember, who came back and who tried to do this again? And who tried to run this back? I want y'all to have my back just like I had y'all's. 
That was the main thing. Coach know, when I talk to him, it's for that game period, for this game in Atlanta. I don't want to give this up. And I definitely want to finish when we started. You know what I'm saying? So I want y'all to think about me. If it ain't now, I want y'all to think about me. You know what I'm saying? Everything else is going to be there. But I want to finish when we started, bro. And I, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I cried after that game. And you know what I'm saying? Just because we gave them that. And I want to look at all y'all in the eyes because I want y'all to know that. I came back for y'all. I want y'all to think about me, though, bro. Think about me. That's all I'm saying. Think about the team. Think about these guys you just won this with this season. We ain't had this last year. We lost two games preseason. So just think about this story. We still making his story. You know what I'm saying? So don't think about yourselves at this moment. Think about the brother next to you. Think about what we got here. That's all I want to say. There ain't no question, but I'm just telling y'all. I want to finish where we start. It's over the house, fellas. We talk about it like we do everything. Third day express. I appreciate you, Coach. Everything you did. You're a real goat for real, and I love you. Okay. Right, you're back, my brother. When I'm talking about his story, you know I was talking about you. Because uh, that just don't happen. The way it happened, the way it worked out. And uh, it's funny, because we was doing media the other day, and they say, who do you think is going to be some of the unsung heroes? As I just tell you like this. I don't know how many touches that he's going to get, but if 38 especially touch that ball, he's going to make something happen in this game. And I'd be there. He did. And Flea know how I feel about you. And, you know, he get tired of it. Hey, man, put him in. Put him in. Let's go get it. Because I know what you got inside. And guess what? Whenever you ever seen him loafing at practice, whenever you seen him with his head down, whenever you seen him tripping or hating, anytime you called on him, he was there. And he had every right to be a little sensitive, you know, tripping a little bit. Say, well, Paul, he did the doggone thing, but he wasn't crying about that. Every time he got a shot, he made it happen. And I appreciate you for that, man. A lot of growth. Ain't nobody want to say nothing there? Yeah, we good, Coach. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. And then this, this, you know. So I know, I know, you know what I'm saying, the relationship I have with you and stuff like that from the lowest to the highest. But uh, if I even if I had to pay a million dollars to tap in your chest again, I'd do that. <laughs> yeah, you remember at the floor. That was me. That's a little cheap, man. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever hit me like that again, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, love I, go. I appreciate your growth too, and you understanding what we really see in you. At one point, we were seeing in you more than you were seeing in yourself. You were still stuck. But uh, I'm thankful that you are not at that place anymore. That's why we, we, we gave you that initial and put it on you because you deserved it and you earned it. You practice like it, you bat it, you study, you prepare for it. And uh, your, your coach validates you every bit of the way. Uh, and I know Aubrey's saying that I don't know what some of y'all are gonna do. I don't even understand the thought process of you thinking you're gonna hurt somebody if you don't play. You're gonna hurt yourself <laughs> because the scouts or whoever going to ask, well, why didn't he play in the game? It wasn't like you had pro on the other side. You know, people opt out of uh, championship games because of pros. Like, they they, they afraid or somehow they're going to get hurt for the draft. That's not the case. So you would really be hurting yourself, and I would hate for you to make that decision because you're going to have to explain that to somebody, that I was just sensitive and I didn't feel like playing. You don't have to explain that to somebody. And somebody may not be forgiven. Then the other coach that you're going to try to go through, because you ain't going to play him no more, um, he's going to ask you those questions. Why didn't you participate in the last game? And what you going to say? I was sensitive. I was mad because the coach left. What if the coach wanted to take it? You ain't got quite then, huh? Good. What else? I want us to exhaust everything, get everything out. Mm -hmm. Hey, Coach, let me tell you.